Hawkeye Holler Nation stand up and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. No, there is no racing today. We are starting a new series here on the channel. A lot of you, and I mean yes, a lot of you have been asking how many monster trucks I have in my collection, which ones I have, so on and so forth. So I figured we'd start a new series. Every week I'll showcase 16 trucks and then the following day for the next video we will race those 16 trucks that way you guys can kind of see out of those 16 trucks which ones are the best so that's what we're going to start today i'm going to go ahead grab 16 trucks off the shelf we're going to go through them take a look at them i'm going to put them on the turntable give them a little spin a rooney and then tomorrow we're going to race them so i'm filming this wednesday there wasn't a video up today i i had to go to the doctor yesterday um so here's the thing uh if you're not subscribed to my vlog channel, go do that. Uh, I know I say that a lot and I never post on there, but uh, this Saturday I'm going to film a vlog. I gotta wash both of the vehicles, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that. We're gonna do a vlog and uh, I'm gonna talk to you guys about what I've been going through. So uh, had to go to the doctor and get something checked out. Uh, I, as of right now, I'm still waiting on the lab results. So uh, yeah, I've been dealing with something and uh, I'll make a vlog about it. No, it's nothing too serious. I hope not anyways, hopefully it's something that can just be solved with a, you know, like a, a pill or something, but other than that, I, I I hope it's not leading to something more major. But anyway, that's not what you guys are here for, you guys are here for the monster trucks. So let's go ahead and grab 16 trucks off the shelf, take a look at them. But guys, if you're new here, do yourself a favor, subscribe, ring that bell, become part of the Hawkeye Holler Nation today, your home for monster truck diecast racing. I as always, am your monster truck daddy, bringing you some of the most enjoyable monster truck content out here on YouTube. I'm very humbled in saying that. You guys love the content. I love putting it out there for you. And I'm just so happy that you guys get enjoyment out of that. Gotta give a huge thank you to my YouTube Pit Crew members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you would like to become a YouTube Pit Crew member and see your name right here, it is linked down below, $2.99 a month. Get your name right here. And also, I got Patreon as well. Thank you to my Patreon members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Again, if you'd like to help support the channel, keep the show on the road. I have three tiers Patreon linked down below. Getting ready to add a fourth tier to that. One where, uh, so I got tons of Hot Wheels downstairs. Like, thousands of Hot Wheels downstairs. I'm thinking of starting a Patreon, uh, uh, uh what do we call that? Patreon tier where I mail out, you know, 40, 50 Hot Wheels to you guys. Granted, that would be a top tier thing, so it would be, you know, upwards of $45, so, just, but maybe, maybe, we'll, we'll get to that anywho, but hey, gosh, I need to stop, let's go look at some monster trucks. Alright, we got 16 trucks to look at today. I'm excited. I'm excited to see them race tomorrow because we have quite the bunch. This is what's going to be fun about this, uh, uh, this said, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? This said, uh, series. That's the word I'm looking for. This said series on the channel because we got a, just, just a unique group of trucks. We got Treads, Chewbacca, a couple Roger Dodgers. So yeah, I'm excited to see which one of them's gonna, you know, conquer the track tomorrow. So let's go ahead and start with Michael Angelo. So you will see a counter down there in the right hand corner showing you what number truck we are on. So the very first truck in this series is going to be Michael Angelo. Of course, this is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles truck. Now there are also now this is a character truck, so it kind of looks like a turtle. Then there are ones that kind of have like a cartoon version, which we'll get to that later on in this series, probably, you know, in the next couple weeks or so. Absolutely love the turtle shell. Love how they got the mask correct. They even got look like they almost got like a, a grimace looking face on them. Like they're ready for action. Of course, they got their belts right there. Love the exhaust coming out the side. The orange beadlocks. <clears throat> so the beadlocks match each colored truck. So... Uh, Leonardo will have blue, Raph red, and of course Donatello will have purple beadlocks. Comes with a black chassis, chrome underbody, man, absolutely beautiful truck. Now these turtle trucks are so fast on the track, I cannot wait to see how this one does. Right up next, let's go ahead and grab from the back 
You got the blue Roger Dodger. I've had this one in my collection for quite a while. Love the flame job on the top. Now, if you recall, we had a battle of the big blocks not too long ago. If you guys haven't checked out that video, I'll leave it linked at the end of this one. And uh, the Roger Dodgers were pretty fast, but they could not stop the ultimate bone shaker, that pizza delivery bone shaker. We've got the monster truck logo right there on the side, along with the Hot Wheels logo. Love that. I absolutely love this blue they went with. It's almost like a, a kind of like a, a you know, it, the camera doesn't do it justice. It's a beautiful blue color, has almost like a sparkle to it. Got the big chrome engine, red bead locks, which uh, interesting. Kind of they kind of did that to match the flame job on the top. Black chassis, yes, absolutely great, great looking monster truck. Yeah. Now the next one coming up came in a two-pack a couple years ago. This is Hooligan. It came in a two-pack with Hot Wheels Police. This is a stadium-looking truck. Absolutely love it. There is Hooligan. Kind of looks like it has graffiti on the side. It's like a little money bag right there. And then you got FYJ68-2018. So I believe this may have come out in 2018. You guys can let me know in the comments down below. And I love, love the black rims with the white beadlock. That is just so sick. Monster truck logo right there on the side. Hooligan on the back. Absolutely love the graffiti. I, I, I love graffiti art. That's just me. I think it takes a lot of talent to do it. Oh, that's a little blue Hot Wheels logo. Look at that. It's so cool. And of course, you got Hooligan on the front as well with the bag on the top. Yes, there is Hooligan. So I wonder what this is right here. I wonder what the FYJ68 2018 is. I may have to look that up. But yes, there's Hooligan. We will get to Hot Wheels Police later on in this series. Again, they did come in a two-pack. Speaking of something that came in a two-pack as well, here is Test Subject. Test Subject came in a two-pack with Area 51 Patrol a couple years back. Man, look at the artwork on this truck. Absolutely beautiful. I love the alien. The purple and green just go beautiful together. Got the Hot Wheels logo there, along with the Monster Trucks logo right there. Test Subject in the yellow and red lettering. Look at this face on the front of this truck. Absolutely, I love the, the pink eyes they went with. Test subject on the top. Almost like a lime or a neon green roll cage. Yellow rims and bead locks with black tires. Man, oh man, look at the grill. Got some headlights on there. Oh, the headlights almost look like constellations in my opinion. Very, very cool. Of course, we go to the back. There is the test subject tailgate. Oh, it does look like uh, it looks like chain link fence with like a do not enter sign right there or private property. Yep, it says keep out top secret test subject. Yeah, absolutely love this truck. You know, this is back when I first started getting into the monster trucks. This was one of the first sets I ever bought. So pretty cool to take a trip down memory lane. Let's go ahead and grab Invader right here with the treads. The treads, uh, honestly, probably my least favorite thing uh, the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks do. I'm not a huge fan of the treads just because, you know, they, they come with eight little wheels and they don't race all that well. But, I mean, they look cool, yeah. And Invader is one of my favorite monster trucks. It's not my favorite, but it is one of the favorites. So here we go. We got yellow treads with some black uh, gearing in there. Of course, you got the you got the torpedo look with the body count on the side. 
with the Hot Wheels Monster Truck logo right there. Go ahead, spin around to the other side again. It's just a mirrored image, and on the top is where we get a little bit different. You got the laughing coyote there on the top, or the laughing wolf dog. He's got this little army helmet on. Very, very cool. And it, you know, wee, wee. You know, it, it runs pretty well. It, it doesn't do too bad until you put it on a track. But yeah, it is pretty cool to look at. Absolutely, you know, enjoy it for the most part. All right, and of course we got Chewbacca. I, this is actually one of two Chewbaccas I have in my collection. One of my favorite castings. It's so fast on the track. Now eventually one day Chewbacca will get a crown. I, his time is coming. Again, this is one of the first monster trucks I ever had in my collection. Man, we seem to be doing that a lot with this first episode. Gray beadlocks along with gray rims. This is almost like a dairy delivery body, just almost just separated into two pieces. You got the front half, the cab, and of course the bed area. On top, you have Chewbacca's famous uh, gun crossbow. You know, the one that shoots the lasers, the one he shot Kylo Ren with. Looks like you got some stairs going up into the back. The thing I love about the back of this truck is it's textured. You guys hear that? So you, you can feel like the little hairs on there. Same with the cab as well. Yeah, very, very cool. I wish it would have had more of a Chewbacca look on the front besides just his hair. But you know what? Beggars can't be choosers, can they? Got stairs going up into the back where it kind of looks like this would fold up. Almost like a, uh, like a U-Haul truck. There is Chewbacca. Lots of detailing on Chewbacca. Very cool. Happy to have two of them in my collection. Next, we are moving on to Spider-Man. 2099, which I am excited for that new uh, Spider-Man, what is it, Into the Multiverse or whatever it is coming out here pretty soon. I'm excited to see Spider-Man 2099 in here. Now, I have f about four Spider-Man trucks. You'll see another one here pretty soon towards the end of this video. But Spider-Man 2099 is cool. Now, I really don't know much about Spider-Man 2099, so if you guys do, let me know in the comments down below, like, uh, what his real name is? Uh, is he bad? Is he good? Because in the in the trailer for the new Spider-Man uh, animated movie, he seems to be the main uh, antagonist. So we got red beadlocks, blue wheels, a blue chassis, and here we go. We got the Spider-Man 2099 logo with his infamous eyes. His eyes are a lot bigger than uh, uh, regular Spider-Man. I love the Spidey logo he has, though. It's so, so cool. I absolutely love these Spider-Man trucks. We actually did a Spider-Man No Way Home series. If you haven't checked that out, go check it out as well. It'll be under the Monster Trucks playlist here on the channel. So this is more of a sports car body type. You kind of got the spoiler. Honestly, I think more JDM than muscle car. Because it got... Is that, is, is, is that a Supra? I mean, sort of looks like the new Supras. Even though these body styles came out way before the new Supers. But that, that's just what I'm saying. That's just what I'm saying. Absolutely good looking truck. And these are so fast. Until they meet something a little bit faster. The Nitro Nuggets, Roger Dodge. And I believe this casting came out last year when we had the fast food series Hot Wheels was putting out. Nitro Nuggets Hot Wheels logo right there. Along with the Monster Trucks logo. 
Nitro Nuggets. Now this is a beautiful orange color that they put on this Roger Dodger. Love the chicken on the top. That's so funny. Look at him. He's like, I'm angry. I'm angry. I want to race. Hot Wheels logo there. Monster Trucks logo there. White chassis with red beadlocks and white rims. Absolutely wonderful. But look, look at this. So we got an engine here on Roger Dodger. Then we got an engine there on Roger Dodger. So Roger Dodger is running two engines. Now I don't know. If, now here, here's my here's my thinking to this. I feel like Hot Wheels uses the same chassis, same engine build for every single Hot Wheels, and then they just put a different body on top. So they just uh, they, they just didn't take that engine out. Or here's my other logic. You see this in real life, because I believe there is a Roger Dodger that runs in Monster Truck Live. Let me know in the comments down below. This is just a facade engine, and the real engine is right there. Either or, still a good looking truck. Now, here's the difference between Spin Master Monster Trucks and Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. On the inside, Spin Master Trucks have a little driver in there. Hot Wheels do not. And the Hot Wheels one, it kind of just, you guys can kind of see over that engine. It's just where the body meets the chassis and everything's all held together. But yes, there is the Nitro Nuggets Roger Dodger. Coming up next, Operation Stop again, one of the... Sorry about that, camera died. <clears throat> I wasn't paying attention to the battery level. So up next, you got Operation Stop. Again, a very, very beautiful truck. Comes in this matte black color with this beautiful, almost X Racers chassis. Got the white Operation Stop, and the stop almost looks like it's uh, pixelated. Kind of like it's almost like a cyber attack kind of paint scheme. Operation Stop right there. Got the big Hot Wheels logo there on the top of the roof, which and it kind of blends into that grid in the back. Operation Stomp on the tailgate. Great looking truck. Almost a light, shiny, green beadlock, black rims. Man, great looking truck right here. I feel like we haven't seen Operation Stomp run in a while, so it's gonna be great to see him back. There is the Monster Trucks logo right there on the back. Man. I'm excited. All right, coming up next, you have the 909, which is an area code for sunny California. Now the 909 along with Pier Muscle which we'll get to here next is part of the Paint Crush series from last year. My favorite series from last year outside of you know the Roar and Rumble and the Glow in the Dark series. My favorite mainline series. Absolutely a love. <laughs> Tipped you guys over. absolutely love this truck from last year's. I love the series. I love the pinstriping. Very, very cool. I mean, the camera, again, does not do this truck justice. Look how shiny it is. You got chrome, dark red, cherry red paint on this truck. Bright red chassis, chrome rims. Of course, right here, you got the Hot Wheels logo, monster trucks, and there's something else on there. Of course, red, I cannot read red on red, so uh, I have no idea what that says. But yes, absolutely great looking truck. A truck you would see at a uh, car show. Very, very neat. No, it doesn't even tell you like how Operation Stomp had Operation Stomp written all over it. You don't see the 909 anywhere on this truck. Just sleek and clean. There is the 909.
All right, and part of the same line to Paint Crush series, here is my boy, Pure Muscle. Pure Muscle, again, part of the Paint Crush series. You got the Hot Wheels logo here on the back, along with the Monster Trucks logo. Look at this beautiful purple. I like to call it the Purple Passion Truck just because you got so many shades of purple. You got magenta, violet, almost like a dark purple. And it almost looks like a floral background behind uh, the pinstriping. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. See, look at that floral design right there in the back. Such a beautiful backdrop. Man, the detail on these trucks is just incredible. Here is more of that floral pattern I was talking about. There is the dark purple, almost magenta, violet. The purple they went with on this is just absolutely beautiful. Purple beadlock, gray wheels this time, along with a black chassis. That just makes this truck pop even more. I can't wait till we get to some of the more Paint Crush series. We got the Volkswagen Drag Bus, Midwest Madness, and I believe there is another one. I believe there's five. So we'll get to those later on in other series, but yes, there is pure muscle. Alright, coming up next again, one of the first trucks I've ever I ever bought on the channel. This is the black and white Mega Rex. I only have a few black and white uh, trucks. I believe one is, uh, I know one skeleton crew, and I think I have another one. Don't quote me on that, though. We'll get to it. Monster Trucks logo, Mega Rex right there on the side. Now, Mega Rex has been with the Hot Wheels line for quite some time. We even got like a little baby Mega Rex down there on the ground. Get to that later on as well. Black rims, white beadlock, black chassis. Honestly, they didn't go black with the mouth. They almost went with like a uh, like a dark gray for the insert of the mouth. Got black right down there, right down the middle. Comes to gray, goes to white. The facial features, black scales are white. Absolutely good looking truck. And we all know Mega Rex is one of the fastest trucks to ever drag race. So I think this truck's gonna be pretty dang strong for tomorrow. There's Mega Rex. All right, down to our final four trucks. You guys have seen this truck on the channel for quite a while, and it's raced in a lot of events. This is part of the WWE line. This is the boss, Sasha Banks. Good looking truck, not my favorite wrestler, but <clears throat> that's just me, it's just me, don't hate me. You got her infamous uh, shades right there on the top with a, almost like the purple tops she wears in with her in-ring gear. Same with the bottom of the truck. These look like her in-ring shorts. Very, very nice. Gold beadlock, red rims, black chassis. There is the WWE logo right there on the rear. Now, then, forever. And I guess they added together on here now. Got legit on the back because she is the legit boss. And you know, it's not, it's not a bad looking truck, honestly. There is the Monster Trucks logo right there on the door. Of course, legit boss. And there is her... John Hancock signature right there on the front end. A dollar sign, Sasha Banks. Very nice. Now, I don't have many WWE trucks. I do wish I had more, but uh, the ones you find on eBay, they're going for, going for a lot of money. Of course, here is the second Spider-Man casting of this group. This is the Iron Spider, you know, made famous in Avengers Infinity War. I mean, technically you saw it in Spider-Man Homecoming, but you actually saw him wear it in Infinity War. Red chassis, gold beadlock, black rims, 
And of course it is the Iron Spider colors, almost like a, uh, a slated blue, got some gold accents. Of course uh, the Spider-Man logo, the Tom Holland Spider-Man logo. Now it would be cool if they put out, you know, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield Spider-Man trucks. I don't think they ever will, but you know, a boy can dream. Now it is the same body style as Spider-Man 2099. In fact, all the Spider-Man trucks are the same. They just represent different Spider-Men. Of course, the Iron Spider does have shaded uh, eye lenses, so they're not see-through. They're they're shaded. Very very cool for the Iron Spider. And of course, celebrating the new Jurassic World movie coming up, Jurassic World Dominion, hitting theaters this June. Hot Wheels had to put out a monster truck line for that movie. You can actually find this in a five pack now at Target. I was thinking about picking it up just for collector purposes, but I already own all the trucks. I bought them individually. There is the Hot Wheels logo, monster truck logo on the side. And of course, this is the Triceratops. There is Jurassic World right there. Got the Jurassic World logo there on the top. Now this, of course, is a uh, what they would call a premium line of Hot Wheels monster trucks, not a basic line. So these are a lot harder to find because people go and buy them and then they turn around and sell them on eBay because those are not fun people. You got a green chassis, orange wheels. Good looking truck. Almost like a burnt orange or a sunset color for the body, and then the artwork is just wonderful on this truck. So yes, this is the Triceratops, got the monster truck logo on the bed. Very, very cool. And lastly, you have Bigfoot. This is one of the many Bigfoots that I own in my collection. You guys have told me what number Bigfoot this is countless times, but when it comes to uh, putting pen to paper, I always forget, so I apologize. Plus, it helps me interact with you guys in the comments. So let me know in the comments down below what big truck number this is. Love the chrome wheels. This has got Firestone, Summit, Bigfoot right there with the yellow and orange lettering. Hot Wheels monster trucks there on the side. And then you got Jazz right there on the quarter panel. Sorry, lost focus there for a minute. I had to focus in on that little, that little, that little logo right here. Now this is the flame job. Bigfoot has a dark blue coloring. No, it is not black. See, as you can see, it's blue right there. Flames right there on the front. Got the headlight decos and grill decos on the front. I just wish they could go with the Ford logos. I really do. That's the only thing that really bothers me about the Hot Wheels Bigfoot. They, they, they don't do Fords. I wish they would. I wish they just just a little, you know, even, it don't even have to be a Ford. Put a, just put a blue oval. Don't put Ford there. Just put an oval. I don't care. I, I just, that's just me being picky. So, again, mirror image on the same side. And then when we come around to the back... We got Hot Wheels and then Bigfoot Racing. I actually love how the flames come from both sides. The flames come together and meet in the back. And you get that bright white finish right there at the back. So there is Bigfoot. And that's going to do it. That is the first 16 trucks in my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So now it's time to wrap up today's video. gonna do it for this first episode of Hawkeye Hollers Monster Truck Collection. I don't even know what I'm gonna title this series yet. It'll be in the it'll be in the thumbnail. But yes, we barely chipped the iceberg because we have a lot more trucks 
to go. So you guys, this is gonna be a long series. I hope you're ready for it. I'm excited to show you guys my collection. Like I said, a lot of you guys have been asking for it and I'm excited to finally show it to you. And maybe by the time we're done with this thing, we will have an official count of how many trucks I actually have in my collection. Granted, that collection is ever growing, finding new trucks all the time. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed today's video, drop a like down below. Now, question for you, what was your favorite truck from today? Let me know in the comments down below. If I had to pick one from today, it's it's gonna be one of the paint crushers. It's probably even gonna be the 909 or Pure Muscle. So that is what my favorite is. So I wanna know your favorites. Let me know in the comments down below. Definitely subscribe, ring that bell, become part of the Hawkeye Holler Nation Day. Again, if you'd like to help support the channel, keep the show on the road. You guys can find my YouTube memberships, Patreon, and merch store all linked down below. Go follow your boy over on Instagram. And lastly, the most important thing, go join the official Hawkeye Holler Discord. It is linked down below. Go chat it up with other Hot Wheels and Diecast fanatics. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And uh, like I said, go follow my other channel linked down below. It's my YouTube, my, my vlog channel. Uh, gonna be posting a video this weekend talking to you guys about certain things and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Peace, love, and hot wheels. I'll see you guys next time for another monstrous video here at the holler. Bye!